not a secondhand coat. I want a yacht, not a cheap little boat. I tell my daddy not to be depressed. All I need for happiness is the best. I want a dime and nothing else has a peel. And when it comes to men, you know how I feel. I want a real man. Give me a real man, you know what I mean. I want a real man. Oh, real man, you know what I need. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Real Men. I'm your host, Tim Steves. This is the magazine show for men where men get real. Let's see the panelists today, shall we? We're serving up some of the Dwayne Hill on the menu. How are you, Dwayne? 10 cc's of vitamin Dwayne. <laughs> nice. And Ted Dykstra's with us here today. Nice to see you, Ted. That song's really growing on me. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, it's great. For sure. Krista Sutton is in the house. Nice to see you, Krista. And Ryan Belleville is here. Hi, Tim. Hey, Ryan. What's up? Fantastic. And that's how we're going to get the show started. I don't know. I, we're just we're just talking here. But we're uh, going to get the show started with Ryan Belleville. So go ahead, man. Um, do you feel that you're bombarded by constant erections? You may have puberty. Do you find that things are breaking out all over your face and your skin is extremely oily? You may have puberty. Erections all the time. You may have puberty. Do you find that? Maybe you're getting hair in odd places. Could be puberty. Do you find that when you're dancing with little Sally or you're at the top of a diving board, you're bombarded by relentless erections? <laughs> it could be puberty. And puberty is something that sounds almost like a disease when you say it like that. You get all these symptoms. It's basically, they say to you, kids, you're going to be a freak for a few years. You're going to be a total mess. You can't talk to your parents because going through your head the whole time is, I hate you, Mom and Dad. I wish you were dead. You ruined my life. So you can't talk to them, and you're filled with anger. And for some stupid reason, the school board got it in their mind to put all of you together in three years in junior high school. That's a great idea. That's the most dangerous thing invented since the freaking hydrogen bomb put them together for puberty. So what do you do? How do you cope with it? Well, people cope in different ways. And we're talking about puberty and adolescent males today on Real Men. What do you think about that, Tim? I think that was an excellent job, Ryan. Thank you. Jump into position there, man. Grab some couch cushion and we'll talk about this. Fantastic. Puberty. How did it go for you, Duaner? <laughs> Let's hear from the big man right off the bat. Puberty happened when I was around six. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of hair in your nipples. I don't think it'll last. It's probably just a winter thing. <laughs> <laughs> 25 years later, <laughs> my nipples are in there somewhere, sweetheart. Just keep licking. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's well, so you hit the puberty, puberty a little early. No, actually, well, I mean, I, I was always tall, and you know, yeah, puberty's awful. It's just a confusing, like sweaty, oily. My mother describes it as I smelled like a piece of cheese for three years. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I had these ducks just spraying pheromones. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, Krista. Uh, Sorry, Ryan. Uh, if you guys want to go Canada, out, I'm really feeling good about it. It's true. I was, there were How was times, it for you, Krista? Well, it was, I was a bit of a late bloomer. So I was uh, waiting. waiting. and Yeah, still waiting. <laughs> Still waiting, still <laughs> waiting. But I always felt sorry for the guys because it really could spring up at any moment. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you get just... really good at holding your books properly, don't you? Oh, Brian? so often. I don't feel like answering yeah. a math question. You throw the yeah. textbooks down and yeah, you, you just got you kind of have to cover yourself up a lot, and you, you become clumsy too, because you're growing so much that you you were a kid and you were so fat, you could be fast, and then all of a sudden. You're in junior high, and they're throwing you at all these sports, but everyone's copping balls in the face and falling down. Tripping and, over your own feet. Yeah. And, and, then, but, and then somebody brushes against you, or you brush against somebody. Hello. Game the, over. The erections Three stay, though. Hunt. The erections don't go away. Do they? I mean, I mean. Ted's got an erection right now. I thought right you were describing me at the top of the show. <laughs> yeah, we actually, you're referred to. Dude, you're having an erection. You yeah, may be. I might have action. puberty. Oh my God. <laughs> Ted, but I'm you might still have the puberty. <laughs> and I'm having hair growing in weird places too. Yeah, let yeah. me tell you. The but top of your ass doesn't count. You know though, what? Right? I forgot all about my puberty. So, so I went through years thinking, well, it must not have been that bad. And then just like a couple of weeks ago, I opened a yearbook that I found in the basement. Oh. And I looked at a picture of myself. And honestly, my mouth. Oh Jesus. Oh my God. And it all just came. 
And you heard all the and comments. I what I've done is I've just blocked it out. Sure. Did you, you have the mullet happened. haircut on the go ever, Ted? Oh, my God. The I saw some movie. home video of me from about t oh. 15, 20 years ago, man. The mullet was out of control. Oh, no. oh, Puberty mullet? I had the pube mullet going. Pube mullet. I had, I had pimples I had a, I had in my school picture. Like, <laughs> big control. pimples and, and hair. And the, the like, family, the parents and the, the mothers and the aunts especially, like, I mean, for women, but for guys, I'm sure it's the same. You know, oh, sprouting a little hair on your chest. Oh, oh. your voice just cracked. Like they, yeah. they well, got direction. Yeah, yeah. It's getting oh, oh, look at Johnny's little direction. It's just getting lower. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Huh? Woogie, woogie, woogie. But, but women have it like it's a totally different beast, I think, for like what women go through and what men go through. Equally as traumatizing, but and at the same time, you're trying to deal with each other. Like women are like. Trying to get their period? What? Trying. Like Try. tonight. Oh, no. oh, we Try. do, though. It's please for sure. Maybe. Maybe. For sure. It's like us shaving. Oh, please, a period. You didn't try hard enough. Yeah. Maybe you'll have your period tomorrow. Come on. When did you learn to masturbate, Dwayne? What age? Uh, you know what? Ooh, baby. No one taught me. Uh, I know. I, uh, if I could quote from Chris, Chris's journal, Dwayne came over to my house around six. Um, no, uh, I don't know specifically what age. I just remember thinking, uh, you know, that's hey, good. This is better than ice cream. <laughs> this is better than ice cream. And the cat hiding from me for six months. Come on! <laughs> I don't always do it. <laughs> what? Why? Does that even mean? Well, I don't know. Like, don't don't that pets mean. kind of like, they think, he's killing himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch and make sure everything's okay. No, he's killing himself. Wait, he's sleeping. Maybe he's dying. Doesn't that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that hurt? No, no. <laughs> Drool. I'm fine. What about you, Ryan? When did you discover that toy you knew uh, you'd use for the rest of your life? I can't even remember. It was just, it just kind of was all, all of a sudden you're like, Yahoo! And you don't even think twice about it. And then I think you learn about masturbation after you've already been doing it for a long time. That's go, right. Hey, and there's this thing called masturbating. By the way, hell, have you heard of it? And then you're like, what? Oh, no. I've done it so much. I've done it so much. Yeah, I've destroyed so many socks. Oh, that's right. Really Let's, get, exactly. Let's get out of the segment. Nice job. When we come back, we're going to talk one night stands. So many socks. On what? real men after this. <laughs> Peter North, the porn star. One night stands. You have a lot of one night stands in your past or in your future, perhaps? In my, in my past, when I, my sailing days, when I was in the Merchant Marines, I had oh, no kidding. a number of one night stands whenever we came into a port. Right. They're, they're convenient. Hey, welcome back to the show. We've been talking about adolescence and puberty. Now we're going to shift gears and talk about one night stands. Who better to set the table than the effervescent Dwayne Hill? Go ahead, Dwayner. Wow, isn't this party great? I'm having the best time. Whoa, you're having a little problem keeping your balance there, aren't you, sweetheart? Mmm, man, I could just, uh, you sick with the balcony? Maybe we should go for a little bit of a, whoa, 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 whoa. You got an ear infection or something? You seem a little tipsy. Maybe you better sit down in the other room with me. What do you mean you saw an evil devil face? I didn't have an evil devil face. Wait a minute, must go back to Alton's book of how to pick up women and have sex with them for one night. Ah, smiley face. Bad breakup recently? I hear you, sister. It's all about getting what you want, and it's that bumpin' ugly thing, and let's face it, we usually do a pretty mediocre job of it, and there's a reason we don't call. Sorry, I'm normally more of a foreplay nut. But that time I just felt like going through your pants. <laughs> just going through your pants. So, you know, one night stands. You know, yes, it's an ideal world. It'd be great, you know, if they could disappear and turn into sandwiches afterwards. Honey, I... Sandwiches! <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> I'll miss you. Mm, I also miss mustard. Can I get some Tim? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dwayne, nice job, buddy. <laughs> Grab some couch. <laughs> did, we, did we get a shot of Alton, the basis for the whole commentary right there? Somebody grab, there's my man. Yeah, there's my man. He was the inspiration for that little monologue. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Dwayner. Oh, so my one Lord. night stands. Krista, a oh. lot of one night stands in your past? Come oh, on, tell God, us. Oh, God, yeah. And it's true. They just really do want to just drive it right, through, <laughs> right through the pants. There's not a lot of finesse. Your in bed's it. failing this one. Yeah, you're, there's not a lot of finesse in the one night stand uh, Have thing. Have you ever and found a really good lover in a one night stand situation? Well, then they're not a one night stand. They, they actually, you want to actually have them call you after, but usually it's not really um, worth a call afterwards. But what about a situation where you're not going to see the person again and, and I mean. Like so traveling? Have, like, like great, <laughs> exactly. Yes, yeah, traveling's like, always good. Like great sex, one night. And that's it. And you both know it's it because you can't actually call each other. Right now, yeah, totally. right now as a guest, you should have an activities instructor from the Dominican. 
<laughs> well, I've had several hundred one-night stands, mostly yeah. from college girls, scraped up enough money to make a Dominican, and I took the virginity with vigor and uh, taught them how to deal with syphilis. <laughs> you know, I mean, and the weird, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, you know, like, it, it, because, you, because you're leaving yourself as an easy mark, wherever the guy thinks he's going to get somewhere, men have such a survival instinct. It's like, I've got to get into those pants immediately, or things could just... The car turns into a pumpkin and the girl turns into a, oh, a zombie. <laughs> but also, it's, it's like, you mean this is going to happen? This is going to happen tonight? We're, like, we're, I just met you and we're going to have sex tonight? But a guy, like, that's that's fantastic. Yeah, that's, well, yeah. A, guy will, that's a guy will go for that. Exactly, happy, and that's why, happiness. you know, women who are saying, oh, I haven't, you know, had sex in so long, I'm like, you know, that's something for a guy to say. You could that's go, right. you could that's go right. out yeah, tonight yeah, and have sex. And so, and I, I always say so that to my guy friends, you know, it. see that guy over there. <laughs> you know, that could. I mean, you I could go out in the morning. I don't do that. Women but. could go get laid in the morning if they wanted. They yeah. could leave the house at so 9 a.m. on the it's subway. Have sex by noon. They I think could. it's it's not it's not such a big conquest for us. And so it's not. I mean, of course, is we've it more of a sense of shame? Do you think women feel ashamed? Oh man, I just Oh yeah, definitely. I think is that why when like when guys like if you're whatever for whatever reason maybe you're preoccupied. But you're getting some signals from a girl, and you're like, uh, no, 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 get away from me. I'm, I'm kind of like busy right now. That that's when they start to really like chase after you. Forbidden fruit. Because you know? you're yeah. like, because you're not used thrill to people saying chase. guys actually saying, uh, not right now. You know. So is that your little it's trick? Thrill of the hunt. Uh, that, sometimes. Exactly. Exactly. Way, Ryan, you have you again. had any positive one night one night stands? Uh, I've. Uh, Positive like, experiences? Positive, enjoyable in the sense, because you're talking about like traveling, and I went traveling for a while, and you meet some really like great people. Yeah. But and all in all, and you get to have sex, which is really the whole reason for leaving <laughs> Canada. That's why you travel. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> exactly, that's why you travel. But oh, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily the best sex. No, it you know, it's, it's just kind of like, like you were saying. I've had, some, I've had some great. Really? Yeah, absolutely. One night stand sex yeah, can be good. Come exactly. on now. I mean, hey, hey, no, you know what? No, no, I'm not saying Wait, yeah, wait it's good for the guy because <laughs> it, it's it's never really good for the woman, I don't think. Ah, uh, yeah. Depends on what prostitute you're right. talking to. <laughs> I'm going to pay you $100 to agree with me. All right, sugar. It was fantastic. <laughs> That's it. Aren't we happy now, Lucy? Linda. Whatever. Uh, is that, you know, is that think, Linda's real voice? Yeah, yeah she sort of got out of a cold <laughs> thing. I didn't kiss her on the mouth. You sure she Linda was a girl? Linda sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she was a girl, Dwayne. Give me a call. Check the Adam's apple, buddy. <laughs> yeah, and you know what the other thing is? That guys, I don't... Women don't do it all that much, and when they do, and then the guys at the end say, you know, I shouldn't say women do, don't do it that much. Anyway, at the end when guys say, I'll call you, no, you won't. Come on now. Yeah. And you know what? I don't it. want you to. I actually leave so, a card now that says, I'll call you. I don't even go to the <laughs> You don't even use the word? <laughs> there. Anyway. <laughs> Dwayne Hill. Superstar. <laughs> Superstar. Yeah. I'll call you. You'll need some counseling. <laughs> Once the healing begins. All right, let's get out of here, panel. Do you have any Great job. Tokens? I actually had a good point. Great job, everybody. Another serious well, we'll handling of we'll a sensitive it. topic, One Night Stands. When we come back, we're going to talk about why men love video games so much and why women hate them so much when we come back on Real Men. Yeah, what about the video games? Why do women hate video games so much? Well, we're not good at them. Like, I can't play a video game if my life depended on it. I'm really not good at it. Is that it? I, I think so. And when they when they play, they go in like the zone where they don't they don't talk to anybody else and they just they just sit there and play like this. And it's, it's not fun. Right. <laughs> it's not not fun. a track. No, not at all. And because then they get into it and they're like grunting and you know, it's just not fun. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Real Men. Is there anything better than getting your boys together on a Saturday night, cracking open a few pops, and hitting the Madden really hard? Ah! What about it, Dwayner? You big video game head? Well, the other day I was pulling this bank job, and I thought things were going great, but I had this kind of a <laughs> shaky partner. And I hop in this car, my partner starts shooting cops. I'm like, get in the car. <laughs> you know, it's like, it, it, he's my wheel man, and I'm driving. <laughs> so I'm going to the traffic's ridiculous. I hop up on the curb. All these old ladies out of nowhere. It's like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, I, and of course, I clip them. I throw them, you know, left, right, and center, which <laughs> slows the cops down that are following me. Then I go back on the highway, hit a couple of cops. But let's face it, they were shooting at my car. If somebody's shooting at your car, you're going to want to kill them, right? It's yeah. your car. It's your ride. It's your wheels. 
So I get out of the car. I kill the. I, I go to the cops' corpses. I grab their guns because hey, they're not using them. And uh, you know, then I walk over to a prostitute, clubber her to death, and uh, take her money. And then you went and played a video game. And then I went and played a video game. And it really. Oh, and it, it's, no, but that was a video game, and that is a very popular video game, and it is addictive. And I know because you brought it in here, and I, it, it's fantastic, and I loved it. <laughs> and I was so it was the greatest thing ever. Ryan, you dug it, eh? I was shocked at how like graphic it was, but I couldn't tear myself away from it. But it did affect me, like when I was walk driving, next time I was driving, uh, I wanted to like drive off the road and hit stuff. The worst thing with that video game, you can run somebody over in their car, a crowd gathers around because they're concerned for their health, a paramedic pulls up, two of them get out and start nursing the person back to health, and you set fire to all of them with a flamethrower. <laughs> and they all run screaming and die in separate locations. Sometimes you run people set fire to them. Ah! The oh, whoosh, you're in fire, oh, Krista. Oh, I just want to set the scene for the room when these guys are all playing it, because I have seen it, and it's basically like this. <laughs> oh my god, you see that? Oh my god. They're just like, you get this zone. Your Maniacal. eyes are like popping out of your yeah. head. Can I play? No, no, no. <laughs> frothing at the mouth. Krista, move. Oh my god, move out of the way. And they're like, and like, that's a scary state of mind. When it is a saying, scary state Krista, of mind. Krista, get out of the way. Yeah. I'm playing a video game. Oh. You gotta tells really you something stop about and take the level of stock. addiction. Yeah. I, I know nothing about it. I sort of stop with Pong. You know, I sort of like that's I think the last one I remember Space playing. Invaders. I think I got the Super Pong, maybe Space Invaders. They have Pong 3000 and, now, which you can play but, and you can but kill prostitutes. It sounds well amazing. <laughs> I think I think I'm scared to try it because I think that's it for me. I'll be gone. I'll, it'll be like a drug. It is like a drug, right? It's a it's total like, drug. It's a drug. I, I was a total because I I've had Atari and uh, the Nintendo, ColecoVision, Apple, Co like the Cle <laughs> We had everything, uh, and then like eventually Abacus. Nintendo was when I got a little bit older and. And I, I, but I still play that all the time. But they're just hitting so. And last time I went to play video games, I, I was right there. I felt like I was 12 again, uh, ignoring homework. There's, and there's, I was like, over. there's a rampage section in the game where you go on these rampages. You have to kill like 40 gang members, triad gang members, and you literally go through there with a minigun which has six barrels and fires 6,000 rounds a minute, and you kill. Everybody, and it just you know, and you guys up so and much. what happens? You kill these gang members, and then later on, in the game, when you drive through like Chinatown, they shoot at you. You're like, why are these guys shooting? Oh right, I wiped out their gang. <laughs> <laughs> I killed you know, one of their members. members. Go, I really you should keep them. a diary. <laughs> and you guys walk out of there, and you're all pumped up. You're like, hey, how's it going? And then we Walking down the hall, the, the walls, are... they're banging you yeah. really hard. What do you? Are you guys playing that game again? <laughs> yeah, the so game. Then, is there any application for video games that's positive? Is, are there? You know, I think it's all positive. I think it, your imagination is your imagination. Imagination and if, if killing people is fun on a video game, I think it's great. I think all this stuff about oh, but then they'll go out and blah blah. I think that's crap. Well, I think it's, I I think it's very healthy and I think it's exciting. Can I make the argument against it? Is that like, the fact that uh, I know that people like slagged. I know when there's a lot of school shootings. I know a lot of video game com companies got sued, which I don't agree with. And they say that it's because it, you know uh, people say no, it's harmless. It just gives me a way. You know, if you're doing it on TV on a video game, you're not doing it in real life, well, and that's great. Not. But also, the video games are so creative now that they give you ideas that you never would have even thought of. Yeah. Well, so you know, actually, you, you know what? You know, I reading a book. Dwayne, it's the same Dwayne thing. Dwayne would I mean, never have thought of beating a hooker to death with a two by six. Exactly. No, but there's I always use a one by six. I'm like, what am I in the 90s? After, <laughs> after <laughs> whack, brr, 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 the whack, September 11th terrorist attacks, the first people they called were the Hollywood. Film, the Hollywood film writers who were writing the movies about terrorist attacks. And there, so there is something to be said that they, they are giving some ideas. I mean, the, whether or not they're following the Are they no, desensitizing uh, the kids, but Ted? All, Ted all, are they desensitizing the kids? No, all creativity gives people ideas. I mean, they would have said the same thing about books in the 1800s. Oh, of course. Don't agree. read that I book. The first Don't time read I... about Jack the Ripper because then you'll be Jack the Ripper. It's the crazy. first time somebody threatened to kill me in New York. Uh, I hopped in this cab and I was like terrified. I said, this guy just pulled a knife on me and threatened to kill me. And he said, oh, I just sent my brother home today. I said, why did you send your brother home? He goes, well, he's dead. And I went, what happened? They said a bunch of gang members surrounded him on a subway. And uh, he gave them all his money, and they made him drink. Uh, they poured uh, drain cleaner down his throat until he died. Great. Now that's not in a video game, and that's some twisted ass uh, stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that is sure. like. I mean, I'm beating I, prostitutes I, with old fashioned words. What's your point, Dwayne? Well, I'm saying that, that was, there was no video game that started that. No, they, you have to be that a was crazy true, man to that be crazy. That was bored, evil. sick. These people do not have video games. They've got time and evil. violence, evil, right. evil, evil yeah. stuff, and you yeah. know. I think normal people can really, you know, adjust. Yeah, and hopefully totally. morons don't have enough money to buy video games. Well said, Dwayner. Hey, let's take a break and sell some stuff. When we come back, we're talking video games on Real Men, where men get real. Come back.
Welcome back to the show. We've been talking puberty, one night stands, and video games today, and uh, I think they all sort of go hand in hand in a strange way. Ryan, <laughs> why do women run fleeing from the building when the video games come out? What's the deal, man? Because they suck at them. They can't <laughs> do them well. I'm a girl! <laughs> That's so silly. No, they can't play video games. No, they honestly can't. It's no, just so we can. We just don't. No, wanted. you know what, my mom, I'll admit this, Hand my mind. mom got addicted to one of my video games, uh, but really, uh, it's very rare. Let's play Barbie's no, Shopaholic. I, yeah. yeah. Oh, I wow. those boots. Look at me oh. buy those purses. Oh, I gotta no. get that purse. I well, Dwayne makes girls, a joke, but the they have, like, sorry, Ted, the, Dwayne's kidding, but they've tried to market every kind of video game like that to women, haven't they, They've tried so hard. They would love to be able, I think now they just have a video game that just hypnotizes them into thinking they enjoyed the last three hours of their life. <laughs> Well, Sorry, Ted. What, it, oh. what were you going to say, Teddy? I was going to say, I heard that Tetris was a winner with women. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, yeah. And that someone was saying it's always because they like to fit things together yeah, and they like to yeah, organize yeah. everything. Well, that was a Tetris that and one. Pong comparison. I know that's, that's sort oh, of back Tetris, with the Pong. Oh, Tetris, hands Tetris. down. Pong <laughs> so last year. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're you right. Know? The organizing and the, and the arranging, I've heard, is very, it, that's actually what it strikes a chord with them. So have they, you played Tetris? I have played it, yeah. And do you do like you that? Like yeah. Well, maybe and when you should you walk... get a Tetris. They probably don't make it anymore. Uh, I don't think oh, so. Do. Maybe but they do. Yeah. Maybe. Super Tetris with yeah. bombs with and Robovision. And estrogen and prostitutes charged. are falling, and you have to arrange them. And yeah, well, that, club we, that one over there. We talked about it at the break. The thing I didn't mention was when I walk in the room and you guys are all playing it. Really, you can cut the testosterone with a knife, and I, you know, I can't. That's keep... a video game too. Did you have a knife? Yeah, I can't. Testosterone with a knife. It's a great. Two. One. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics are way better on this one. I can't keep up with that, and I think maybe that that's you know. Part of the uh, <laughs> allure. What about <laughs> internet gaming? Do you do that? Do you no, I don't other? get that whole, you know, hey, there's a yeah. guy in Malaysia who's also playing. <laughs> right. You know, right. how about if I unplug him and flood his house? Do, I, you, do, do you want to play against someone in the room, or it's just you against yeah, the you, game? You well, against the game. I, well, a lot of the games we've mentioned are one person, but people get into them, and especially games that are RPG or role-playing games, you have to solve puzzles, and you have to, you have to really have to solve like mysteries. Yeah, and, like and Dungeons it's, and Dragons? On computer? That was a little contempt in that voice, Barbie shopaholic. <laughs> <laughs> like Dungeons and Dragons. Tell us We're almost out of time. All the time we have left <laughs> to say is really that uh, my Jake no, LaMotta took out Alton Sugar Ray Robinson in a very devastating battle. Definitely. No, more than once, buddy. More than once. Thanks for coming into Real Men, where men get real. We're out. Good job, guys.